happening. Yesterday we looked at this example, isn't it? We based on the performance rating given to the employees, they will be receiving certain bonus. Okay, based on their performance, they would be receiving certain bonus. Now what I'm going to do is, whatever I did yesterday using the IFS statement, we will simply write the logical test and what should happen if it is true. The logical test is, I want to check this rating. If it is equal to five, then I'd like to give them a bonus of whatever is entered here, comma. Logical test two, this equal to four, then this is the bonus to be given, comma. If this is equal to three, then we have to give a bonus of thousand. And let's say I will close it here. I'm not handling for what should be the bonus given if the performance rating is two or if the performance rating is one. We are not providing any information for that scenario. Okay, now let me just copy it down. You see what has happened? Wherever we had handled it for five, uh, what happened? Can you all tell me what went wrong here? Why is it giving thousand and all, all, all of these places just a blank and not applicable? What mistake did I make over here? Anybody, what mistake did we make here? Why did the formula not work? Perfect, Bhaskar, correct. Relative referencing, isn't it? I didn't lock the cell in place, the bonus cell for performance rating phi. I didn't lock it. I didn't use absolute referencing. I use relative referencing. So over here, I'm referencing H3. Uh, if it is four, I'm referencing H4. If the performance rating is three, I'm referencing H5. But when I move down, what happens? The references, cell references also change. Now, based on this, if uh, the performance rating is five, it has it is referencing H4. Okay, H4 it is referencing if the performance rating is five. And in this case, H5, in this case, H6. Okay, now if I go ahead, down here, okay, let me go down here. What is happening here? It is referencing H10 for performance rating five. It is referencing H10. We don't even have data over there. Okay, that is why it's not able to put anything. So there's a problem with the formula because I did not use absolute referencing where it was actually necessary. Let me make it absolute. How to make it absolute? Simply we can click there and we can use the function key F4. So there will be a dollar sign before the column and the row number. So that is basically locking the column and the row. So column H and row three are locked. Absolute reference, we are referencing to that particular cell. Here I'm locking H4 and here I'm locking H5. Now let me copy that formula down and you can see how it works. For two and one, we did not specify anything in the formula. We did not give any data. Nothing is available. It doesn't know what to do for two and one. Okay, it doesn't know what to do for two and one. So what to do here? NA error we got, NA. Wherever uh, we are getting NA error, not available kind of an error, let us simply put zero. So what I'll have to do is, I will wrap this IFS function make it slightly bigger. So this is our formula. I'm going to wrap this IFS function in the if n a function, if n a, and I'll wrap this whole thing in that. You see, this is the value. And if this value is not true, if I get n a condition, then give zero. Okay. If we are getting the NA error, then it comes to the second argument and it gives us zero. So let's copy it down. Zero means it is going to come like a blank over there. Okay. This is zero. So, or we could do something else instead of zero. Let's say I want to give them a bonus of 100. Okay. We're giving a bonus of 100. So you can see 
for two and one, we are giving a bonus of 100. Understood? If NA, Now over here, where we got the denominator zero and therefore an error, instead of if error, suppose I give if NA, let's see what will happen. If I use if NA instead of if error, let's see what will happen. You see, it's not handling. Why is it not handling? Because if NA, IFNA handles only NA errors, and nothing else. If you are giving if any, it will handle only n errors and no other errors will be handled. Whereas if error will handle all types of errors. Is it clear? If any will not handle the other errors like division by zero, it will not handle. It will handle only exclusively it will handle n errors. For all the other errors, you can handle using if error. So I'm going to go here and change it back to if error. And then it will work. Did you all understand the difference between if error and if any and how they are used for error handling? Are there any doubts or questions over here? Okay, thank you so much for the confirmation. Right. So that was the second point in our agenda today to understand about if error, if any, and also understand the difference between the two.